I will merely show you some different hairstyles for celebrations, weddings, and if you just want to look nice at school. These styles are mainly for girls. Boys don't feel bad, but girls want to look their best when they have to. All you girls in here know how much time and effort it takes in the mornings before school and before celebrations. That is why I want to show you these different styles so you can have a plan ahead of time. I've been doing hair for a long time now. I've been doing hair since I was seven years old and it's something I really enjoy doing. Huh. That is something I really enjoy doing. I do my cousin's hair, my sister's hair for weddings, celebrations, and my little ones, and I do my own hair for the day. Hair is, some, hair is the most important part of someone's outfit, well, for me at least. Girls have to do the most and try to make their hair look good for celebrations to match their outfits. That is why I feel like it's a struggle, so that is why I'm gonna show you these styles to help you. For, step, for some simple hairstyles, I have two styles. These are simple styles for school, so if you want to look nice for sports, concerts, or if you're just having a really good day. There's two styles and different steps on how to do them. First one I will start is with a Dutch braid. You take, so step one, you take three strands of hair. Once you get three parts, now everybody, girls, I think you know how to braid, but this is a Dutch braid. So you go underneath instead of over. Underneath, and then you take a hair. And then underneath, grab a hair. It looks very simple, and it takes a lot of practice to do. So for time's sakes, this is how it'll start to turn out. Step two is once you finish doing the hair, the braid, you would take all the hair that you have. And then once you have that braid, which obviously will look better done time-wise, you tease the hair, pull it out. So that today I did a Dutch braid in my own hair, as you can see. Tease it out. And once you have the braid done, you take the rest of the hair, you put it in a pony. That's step three, four. Once you have that, you take your pony, you put it in a ponytail. Now there's different things that you can do. You can put in a bun, you can put a ribbon in it, but since May's hair is kind of shorter, we're just gonna do a ponytail. And step five is you would tease the rest of the hair up. You just pull little hairs out, and this just makes it look cute and messy, which a lot of girls in here know all that is. And then boom your first style for school. Now on to the next style for wanting to look your Sunday best. This style can never go wrong. It is a style that can work for lazy mornings, for going to games to cheat on your friends, going for out and about, or if you just want to look your Sunday best. This style starts with a piece of hair over here. You start with two sections and you twirl. Grab hair from the side and then twirl. Once you have your twirl, you finish, and the person that you're doing the hair on, have her hold it, and you just repeat on the other side. Twirl, grab the hair, and you twirl again. And grab some more hair. Once you finish that, twirl all the way to the bottom and grab the hair that your friend's holding and make a little loop in the middle. Once you have that loop, grab the other hair, pull it through, and then you pull it up and then you would pin it like this. Tease the hair, and voila, you got another style for school. Now this is a style that won't do wrong. It is a favorite, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is personally one that you really want to look your best for weddings or celebrations.
This style may seem a bit difficult to do on your own or if your friend doesn't have a lot of experience with hair, but personally, it's easier than it looks. First, step one, you start with a half pony. Now this one requires more than just one pony. <coughs> Now this is more than a half pony, depends upon how big you want your bun in the back. So once you do that, grab the hair, and then once you have your hair parted evenly on the other sides. Now I'm leaving a little piece out in the front, so then it looks kind of more I like to call it cute. A little piece out the front there. Once you have your half pony, I want to go more to the bottom because I want my bun more towards the bottom of the hair. So once you have that, put it into the pony. Nice and low. Once you have that, on to step two, which is teasing the hair. Just pull little hairs out in the front side, on top, then you start with the bun, twirl the hair, pull it up, grab onto your next pony. This is what the bun would look like, but May's hair is shorter. So I'm doing a different bun today. You take the other pony, now just evenly, and you pull it this way through. So it kind of sticks out. Now some little hairs might fall out, and that's when you take them, and you wrap them up in the side on the other pony. Then you would part onto step three, part the hair, and you twirl again. the hair and then you tease the hair. This would wrap over on the side now obviously for time savings it doesn't look the greatest so I can't always do this and then you repeat on the other side these styles are something that you can always do with a friend. You can call a friend and say, hey, do you want to help me with my hair? It may seem a little weird, but us girls got to stick out for one another. In conclusion of my speech, I hope that you learn something about hair. And if for time and effort, it can be really easy to do. Because you want to learn hair. Because when time is needed, you'll need it the most. Thank you for listening to my speech.